This print took me 3 hours and 19 minutes because I started this print directly on my Bamboo Lab A1. But this print, which is the exact same design and using the exact same filament, took me 32 minutes less. All because I know how to use the Bamboo Lab presets in Bamboo Studio. Continue watching and you will know everything there is to know about all the different presets in Bamboo Studio. Congratulations if you are watching this video, then most likely you already or very very soon own your own Bamboo Lab 3D printer. And after watching this video, hopefully you can do one of the most important things when it comes to 3D printing. Learn how to print faster, but keeping the exact same quality of your 3D prints. Previously here on this channel, I have covered my top 10 both secrets and must know features in Bamboo Studio. So if you have not watched that and you want a complete beginner's video of Bamboo Studio, please go and watch those videos first because in this video we're going to do a deep dive into the different presets in Bamboo Studio, which on one hand is something that you don't need to worry about at all, but on the other hand is something that might actually hold back the maximum performance of your 3D printer. And if you are making these changes yourself, or at least are aware of these different settings, you could literally save hours of your 3D printing time by keeping the exact same printing quality. So here we now are in Bamboo Studio and basically there are three different types of presets, some of them being more important than others. First up we do have the overall printer presets which basically is just where you go and select your printers. For example I do have a Bamboo Lab A1, H2D and an X1C and they all show up as different presets telling Bamboo Studio which printer I want to use. And if you do want to add some new printers, if you maybe got some for Christmas, uh, you can go up here into the settings and then you could just add all the different printers that you want to show up as presets in your version of Bamboo Studio. Now moving over to the project filament presets, this is where the real time saver is. Now if you are using Bamboo Lab's own filament, then all you have to do is to just uh, physically just load the filament onto your AMS. Hopefully you did take my previous advice to make sure you got an AMS light or an AMS together with your Bamboo Lab printer because that is just gonna make everything so much more convenient even if you're not printing with multicolor. Because thanks to the RFID tags on the Bamboo Lab spools, if you are using this with an AMS or an AMS light, uh, the system will actually work together and the printer will then tell Bamboo Studio which exact type of filament you have on each specific uh, AMS light slot. And if you do need to update, you just click on this little uh, synchronizing AMS filament information button and you can choose between mapping and overriding. And if you're not familiar with the difference between mapping and overriding filaments here, then mapping is Bamboo Studio trying to map the actual filament you have loaded on your AMS with the filaments in the Bamboo Studio. So here we have a filament number one is blue PLA, which on the AMS is actually on slot number two. But Bamboo Studio will then think that, oh, actually this makes sense if this is mapped together. So when I do choose filament number one, it would actually be the AMS slot two in this case. If we instead will choose overriding, then Bamboo Studio would just say, okay, filament Filament number one is of course going to be AMS slot filament number one, which in this case is uh, purple or magenta from San Lu. But let's say that you don't use Bamboo Lab's own filament with these RFID tags. Maybe you found a cheaper filament on Amazon, or maybe you just found a different color from another manufacturer that you want to use instead. Well, that's when you can go in here and then choose the different system presets that have already been loaded into Bamboo Studio. For example, I do personally love to use San Lu's filament in this case I'm gonna use the PLA plus 2.0. I just click in here and now I'm using the Sunlu preset telling Bamboo Studio that this is the filament that I want to use. Now so far this seems pretty obvious. If I am using Bamboo Lab filament I should use the Bamboo Lab preset and if I am using Sunlu filament I should use the Sunlu preset. But what is actually the difference between these two different presets? Excellent question because this is where things are starting to get pretty interesting and we actually do have a comparing preset button right here hitting in plain sight and we can just press here and we will actually have access to compare all different kinds of presets in Bamboo Studio. We do have the printing presets and we also have the actual filament presets here as well. So we can just go here and choose uh, Bamboo Lab PLA Basic, compare that with if we can find Sunlu PLA 2 plus 0 
And here we can see the actual differences between Bamboo Lab and Sunlu 2.0 PLA Plus in this case. Uh, we're not going to go into detail here, but if you want your own little deep dive, uh, just click on the compare preset one. Full disclosure, I usually don't really do this. I think this is a little bit too advanced for myself. And in 99% of the time, I just feel like whatever I do with the presets in Bamboo Studio is good enough. But for that remaining 1%, technically is more like 20% of the time is when you're trying to do this and select the presets on the printer directly because there's a huge difference between changing the filament on your printer specifically Bamboo Lab A1 and if you would actually change the filament settings and the filament presets directly in Bamboo Studio and the main thing is that these different presets that are preloaded on the actual machine is very very limited compared to these presets you can find in Bamboo Studio as an example Sunlu doesn't have a single preset on the actual Bamboo Lab a1. So if you are going to go and select the different presets for your Sunlu filament, the only option you're left with is generic PLA, which will be super slow in comparison with using Sunlu's own filament preset here in Bamboo Studio. So to confirm this, I actually printed out two different prints. Here we have a low poly Fox and here we have a specific speed test designed print uh, using the generic PLA preset and as well as using the exact same filament, but this time the Sunlu specific preset that we find in Bamboo Studio. And the result is that quality wise, these are identical. There are like very, very, very few minor differences at both the, the low polyfox and this little speed test, which is like 100% identical. Uh, I have now already lost track on which one is which, but I did make some notes before uh, I started recording this video. So I do have all the facts here on my computer. But thanks to using the Sunlu specific filament preset in Bamboo Studio, so the printer can then print as fast as humanly or 3D printably possible for this specific filament. Whereas if you are using the generic PLA preset, that is just goes down to like the lowest common denominator. And basically what is the slowest type of PLA that you can find on the market today? Or I guess like maybe five or six years ago when they actually started to make these presets for Bamboo Studio. And again, these presets here in Bamboo Studio, they already exist in Bamboo Studio. I have not added these myself. So these are already uh, approved or confirmed or at least added by Bamboo Lab themselves. With that said, I can actually create my own presets as well, uh, which most of the time is not something that I feel comfortable with and I just trust the brand information that I get for each specific brand when I get the new filament from them. But there are two instances where it could actually be very useful to at least know about these different filament presets. One of which is if you are using the high flow nozzle for Bamboo Lab A1 that I talked about previously here on the channel because E3D actually will provide you with specific filament presets for each different filament. So it's kind of a way to then trick Bamboo Studio that although you're using like the normal filament with the high flow nozzle from E3D, you could actually print the filament much faster or at least with higher flow. And another preset for myself here, which is a basically a complete replica of Bamboo Labs matte PLA. The only thing that I have done to this specific preset is that I have changed the money currency to the local uh, Taiwan dollar or the, the NTD that we have here in Taiwan, just so I can easily calculate my price when I'm selling my prints in the local currency. If you do want to make any small adjustments, you can just go in here, play around, uh, you can just save it to your own preset. And last but not least, we do have the process printing presets as well, which basically is just a preset to remember all the different printing settings that you have actually changed when you are, for example, changing the, the infill pattern, or if you are changing the maybe wall amounts or how you're aligning the seams. So if you are finding yourself changing these settings very, very often, but also using the same different kinds of changes, for example, instead of having a 
uh, grid infill and 15% infill. My standard default is the gyroid infill pattern and 10% only because I don't need that much infill to most of my prints. And gyroid is like the newer, um, superior, better type of infill pattern. Uh, the only reason for why grid is like the default uh, default <laughs> is because it's more forgiving for printers that are not properly like dialed in. If you're thinking like printers from like five years ago, then you might have like a lot of issues and it uh, was not like 100% calibrated properly. But with like Bamboo Lab and I guess like most other uh, recent 3D printers, uh, they're all definitely already dialed in enough for uh, leaving the grid pattern and starting using the gyroid. And the main reason for why gyroid is superior is because the way it prints, it doesn't actually cross its own pattern on the same layer. So you're just minimizing the risk of the nozzle going over an area that has been printed already and then uh, knocking down the print or just like screwing things up in ways that you don't need to screw things up. So in my case, when I was printing a multi-board, it all came with some certain uh, printing uh, suggestions or, or printing requirements. Uh, and I forgot what these specific requirements were right now. And that is the whole point of using these presets because I don't need to remember. Uh, I just need to remember to activate the multi-board presets that I had created myself in my Bamboo Studio and then every single multi-board related print came out absolutely perfect. And speaking about absolutely perfect things, if you want to see more tutorials regarding Bamboo Studio or 3D printing in general, you have the perfect subscribe button down there. It has been designed just so you can subscribe to my channel and get more information regarding 3D printing and Bamboo Lab printers in particular. Regardless, thank you all so much for watching this video. My name is Lucas. Starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.